Hi guys, my second tried and true. And since I am hoping it'll go up Tuesday, I'm gonna call it Tuesday Tried and True. So if you do like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. So tried and true. Um, I took out what I have in my makeup stash pile and revisited it. I am dedicating myself to using up product that I have. And then I'm asking myself, I've tried it, I've put it aside for whatever reason. Is it true that I would repurchase it? But we'll see. So first of all, after washing my face today and getting it all um, ready to go, the first thing I used was IT CC Cream. This CC Cream is um, mm, really good, color correcting. Um, I'm pretty much down to about here. Yep, you can kind of see it. It's right there now. Um, I like this. Uh, this is a CC cream that I will use as a foundation as I did today on the days that I don't want to put on heavy, heavy makeup. Fantastic coverage. Fantastic coverage. But I feel like my skin can really breathe in it. My skin feels good. And I'm so glad I brought it back out because I have just a wee bit left. Um, repurchase, yes, for sure, love it. And I have this in the light, so um, I, this is the CC Plus. I can't say enough good about it, uh, but uh, I'm glad I dedicated myself to reintroducing it back to my skin because I like it. Next, I went ahead and um, Yes. Now, this isn't a tried and true, so I'm not really going to bring it out. It is something that's newer to me, and it's the um, Tarte Tape um, for coverage under eye concealer. Uh, yeah, that stuff is awesome, and um, I have to use that probably every day because I do have darker circles under my eyes, and that's really a good... Um, product that really works well. But anyways, out, mm -mm, not part of this. So after doing that to my skin, what I did was I reintroduced myself to this blush. Ooh, things are falling. Oh, so pretty, so pretty, so pretty. This is Pure Color Blush in Alluring Rose, and it's satin, and this is by Estee Lauder. Um, not sure why this one got stashed away because it is pretty. Now keep in mind, all the variety of blushes that you may have, I know are seasonable. Some are the cooler tones, some are the warmer tones, some have that uh, burgundy, raspberry, light, the orange, the burnt, the peachy, um, but this is strikingly beautiful. And I'm sad that I left it in the drawer. Um, you can see it's, it's starting to dip down in the middle, but Oh my goodness, I think if I was totally out of this and not sure if they would still have it available, but I would be sad. I would miss it because I think it looks so pretty. But happy to reintroduce myself to it again today. And I can tell you, this is tried and true. Mm -hmm. I would repurchase that. And I'm saying that, you know, these colors for blushes and lipsticks, they take a long time to go through. And, you know, I think you'd get pretty bored just wearing the same things over. But part of tried and true is also, would I miss it if I no longer had it in my collection? And yes, I would. Um, next is um, from Clarins. And it's this gorgeous, beautiful, ooh, let me turn it upside down. I mean, right side up. It's called Splendor Summer Bronzing Compact. Now, the reason I took this out today is because um, it too was sleeping in the drawer. And it is so, so pretty as really light brown bronzer. Um, I think anytime 
summer, winter, spring, fall, really pretty. And what I did after, you know, bronzing just lightly because I thought it went so well with the blush, um, I just took a little bit of that center and put it on the um, middle portion of my eyes. And uh, I used the It Cosmetic brush. Um, this is the um, yeah, big brush, whatever. I don't know what it's called, but it's a great bronzing brush. I like it just for light bronzing. So this is awesome with this. And, uh, mm, tried and true. Now there's so many bronzers out there and uh, I really like it cause it's soft. It's not too brown or muddy looking. It's nice. So, um, that's going to take a long, long, long time to go through. But if I didn't have it, would I be like craving it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And it's okay on tried and true not to be sure, but I'm sure glad I have it now. On my eyes, and because I wear glasses, I'll just kind of blink downward. Yeah, let's pretend those crinkles and wrinkles aren't there. I went ahead and pulled out my Mac um, quad. And unfortunately, I don't know the name of the colors. What I do sometimes when I'm wanting to refill from MAC, I just take my quad with me and match the colors up. Um, these are my favorite earth tone colors. Favorite, favorite. Um, I love them. And you can see I really hit the pan on that one. Um, that's just an overall under the eyebrow, my eyelids just priming them up and I've been out of my painterly pot. so. I like that. It's very subtle and soothing. And of course, I love all of these um, attached colors. And I always tell myself, you know, I just need to make little tags on the back so I can remember the colors. But even though I have good intentions of doing that, I never do. So that's why sometimes when I know I'm going to um, purchase a Mac and I want to replace, um, yeah, these colors I do because I. I, they all have dips in them, but as you can see, like really dippy, but I, I will take it with me if I'm trying to really match it up. But these are favorite, favorite colors of mine, and I don't care what season it is. I love these colors. I think it's, they're very um, complimentary when you have um, brown eyes and maybe blue eyes too, but brown eyes, I just love these colors. So... Yeah, this is tried and true. I'm always replacing, but it takes a long time to replace and go through, but you know, yeah, I like that. Um, and then for makeup, last and doggone it, this is my MAC um, Skin Finish Mineralized Powder. And uh, what's wrong with me? I love this stuff. I mean, it's pretty much almost getting gone and what's wrong? I don't get it. Why do I get so sidetracked with other things? I love this stuff. I love how it feels on my skin. I love the coverage it gives me. Tried and true to the blue, yes. Come on, I have just got to get through what I love and what feels good on my skin and oh, this is one of them so that's a good one next on my lips I just put on today uh, my Chanel now I am not going to consider this is the um, Rouge Allure and velvet number 58 mm, tried and true yeah I mean, I do put this aside because I don't always wear this color, but there's not a question as to whether or not I love it, I do. But just don't necessarily want to have a uh, real pronounced bright lip all the time, but um, that's what I'm wearing today. So that's why I brought it out. And yes, I have revisited that. And, you know, I'm sure I'll have this forever and ever because it's a lot of lipstick, but I love 
love it. So glad I have it. For mascara, this is for under um, lashes and this is by Clinique. I love this. I need to purchase another one. Now, I this is gone, but I don't I hesitate to throw this out because if you can see that little brush is just ever so fine and so awesome to get your lower lash line. I like this product. I know that um, this is a tried and true, and I brought it back out the last week or so because um, there's just a tiny bit left in there, but it's pretty much drying out. You know how you should throw out your mascaras, but you know, I like that brush, and so this brush, ooh yeah, it really allows you to get those little fine eyelashes and um, not cause a big smudgy mess. So Clinique, tried and true, yes. What's not so tried and true, and you might be a little disappointed, is my MAC, uh, sorry, 129 brush. I've had this for a long time, and this brush hurts. I don't know why, it just hurts, it prickles. It's a prickly brush. Um, I use it, but man, a lot of times I just put it in the back and I used it today because I wanted to be tried and true to it. And now it still pricks. It still pricks. I mean, Mac, you need to soften those brushes up, especially because there's so many others out there. But I won't toss it or pitch it, but um, I just don't grab it. Frequently. Now, the other brush that I do love is e.l.f. See, you don't have to spend a lot of money purchasing a brush um, because it's high-end. This is an awesome little flat top brush that um, does the job, and I think it was like three bucks. Love it, love it. Um, I've kind of put it inside on the back burner there because I've been using my beauty blender a lot and my other makeup, but I love this brush. So I used it um, as I put on my CC cream today. Um, it was great, loved it. And um, this is a MAC 224 brush that I use for my eyeshadow crease and blending. Yes, okay, happy with this brush. A little prickly, but not so bad on the eyes. So, um, I have another brush that I have been using that's like really um, pretty old. And I can't even remember the name of the company I bought it from, but it's long, so I kind of go to that. But I brought this one back out again today and it works great. I do like it. So, that is it for, um, oh, no. For applying my um, shadow today, I used this brush by Wet n Wild. Again, a drugstore purchase and grabs the product, um, applies well, it's nice and flat, it's soft. So that is it for Tuesday's Tried and True. And of all the products, for sure, what I know for sure I would repurchase, my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder, my IT CC Cream, and for sure, positively, this beautiful Estee Lauder um, Alluring Rose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those will really be my three absolute tried and true. I want to say my MAC because I, I keep repurchasing, you know, these colors. So that has to be another tried and true. And yes, I have lots of palettes, but for sure, those particular colors. My Clinique Under Eye Mascara. I like it. It works really well. So that's it for today's tried and true. So until next time, be kind, be humble, and age gracefully. Bye. And sometimes, as Dorothy would say, you don't have to go looking much farther than your own backyard for the perfect color. It's just waiting to be reused again.